Trampoline STEM at Home with Math Mind Workshop. Have you ever wondered how trampolines make you bounce? I don't think the black mat on a trampoline is stretchy and will make you bounce, but if you were to grab a section and try to pull it and stretch it, it wouldn't stretch at all. So what does make you bounce? The springs that hold onto the net actually provide the bounce that pushes you up. Once you're up in the air, what makes you fall back down? What force pulls you down? Gravity, of course. The springs on a trampoline push you up and gravity pulls you down. These are both forces or pushes and pulls that make you move. A trampoline is a powerhouse of force. Now that you know how a trampoline works, your engineering challenge is to build something like a trampoline that can make falling things bounce back up. The first step in this challenge is to find the materials that you need. Trampolines, like a lot of other technologies, use springs to create movement. You probably don't have a lot of springs lying around your house, so you'll need to find something else that can stretch out and snap back. Did you know that the spring force is also called the elastic force? It's true, and that's a big hint about what you could use instead of springs. For something to stretch out, it needs to be attached to a frame of some sort, kind of like the frame of your trampoline. For your engineering challenge, it will help if your frame is open in the middle, like an empty box or a stand made out of building bricks, or even a roll of tape. But it can also be made out of an object with pegs in it, such as nails in a board, or sticks in the ground, or whatever great idea you might have. The next step in your engineering challenge is to draw a design for your idea and then build it. You may want to pause the video while you gather your materials, draw your design, and build your device. Once your device is built, it's time to test it. Pick a clear location to test your device and choose an object to drop that's safe. We recommend a soft ball or bean bag so that it doesn't bounce up and break anything. First, drop your object onto the ground and measure how high it bounces back up, if it even does. Then drop it onto your device and measure how high it bounces from your device. Remember to drop it from the same height each time, such as from 15 centimeters. Let's evaluate. How well did your object bounce? Did it bounce higher from your device than it did from your floor? Great job! Do you want to change anything? Go for it! And remember, after you change it, test it again. You've used science, technology, and engineering to explore trampolines. Now let's use a little math. Compare your bounce heights and circle the greater number. For example, if your ball bounced 5 centimeters from the floor and 11 centimeters from your device, which number is greater? 11 is greater than 5, so circle 11. Now you know that one bounce is greater than the other, but how much greater is it? A ruler can help you figure that out. Count the number of centimeters from the lower number to the higher number. For example, if you count from 5 to 11, the first centimeter that you count is from 5 to 6 and then count the centimeter from 6 to 7, and then from 7 to 8, and so on, until you count the last centimeter from 10 to 11. There are 6 centimeters between 5 and 11. You could also subtract to find the difference between your numbers. For example, subtracting the smaller bounce from the higher bounce, or 5 from 11, gives you 6. The ball bounced 6 centimeters higher. Science, technology, engineering, and math all play a huge part in the designing and building of trampolines. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to check back for more STEM activities brought to you by MathMindWorkshop.com.